Good morning, Southern California, AM 1220, KHTS. The show's Fred Arnold on the Santa Clarita Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Spotlight. I'm joined by Rona, du Rona Jukes. Rona Jukes is with uh, American Family Funding. She's a mortgage professional there with us, and uh, we're going to talk today about two important issues that I think are uh, really critical for us to all know about that are homeowners. One are VA loans for those veterans out there, and there's a lot of them, and the other one, mortgage insurance, if you have mortgage insurance. So, VA loans. Yeah, VA loans, you know, is a wonderful opportunity for our veterans to, to own their own home. It's, there is no down payment. Um, there is no monthly mortgage insurance premium like you would have with an FHA. And more importantly, it allows our veterans to get into home ownership with very little money down. Um, I am out there as an advocate for it. Um, I know a lot of the realtors in our community and realtors at large are afraid of the VA loans because they feel that their sellers, it costs the sellers more money because they have to contribute towards closing costs. It's not necessarily true. We can structure that loan to meet everyone's needs um, and meet your closing date, just like we can meet your conventional loan closing dates. So you mentioned a few things. One is uh, no money down for the down right. payment. Mm -hmm. No mortgage, monthly mortgage insurance. Yeah. There's a premium up front for a guarantee fee or some right. type of... Right, but that is rolled into the loan, so they're actually paying for that over that 30-year period, and they're not having to come up with any more money up front. And then the financing, the closing cost, um, they're not actually financed, but they can be structured so the seller could pay or if the seller doesn't want to pay. Um, they could be financed into slightly higher interest rate. And, and, and the way it's structured now, very favorable pricing. The, the pricing is, is much better than a conventional loan. Um, they're t typically on par with uh, FHA pricing, and they allow more flexibility when it comes to the debt-to-income ratio. Conventional loan today, you're looking at 45. Uh, VA loans will go up to just under 50%. So it allows them a little bit more flexibility, buy maybe a little bit more house for their money. So let's talk about um, the one thing you mentioned is sellers be willing to accept VA offers. Yeah. You know, VA offers, you know, kind of, oh, you know, it's going to cost me more money. But as you indicated before, with a little bit of, bit of a higher interest rate, getting them more of a lender credit to help offset those closing costs, the seller contributing, just like they would contribute in a conventional world, um, a lot of times, I probably in the last three VA loans that I did, I was able to hand back, if not all, but the majority of that down payment or that deposit that was given at the time their offer was accepted. So in reality, reality there's no down payment. Let's talk about uh, mortgage insurance. Yeah. So a different subject altogether. Mm -hmm. uh, monthly mortgage insurance is very common now on most loans. You put 10% down, 5% down, 15% down. You're going to have a monthly mortgage insurance. Well, How do you get rid of it? Well. Today's world, you know, mortgage insurance, you have you have to wait till your property value reaches at 80% or less to the loan amount to the appraised value. That's the only way to eliminate mortgage insurance. But 2009, 2010, a lot of people were putting 10% down, FHA loans at 3.5% down. You had to have that mortgage insurance. Property values have gone up. People are, don't realize that these property values may be at a point where we can eliminate that mortgage insurance for you and, in turn, lower your payments. Mortgage insurance is not a write-off on your taxes like interest is. So the, although your interest rate may go up a bit, you're still going to save in the long run because you're eliminating that monthly mortgage insurance premium, and now you have a little bit of a larger write-off on your taxes. And the, one of the key things uh, on our discussion is looking at different options. Well, you could take a little bit higher rate, you could take a lower rate, but getting rid of your mortgage insurance, especially if you have an FHA loan. FHA uh -huh. mortgage insurance is well over 1% on a monthly basis. And now, if you've gotten your loan within the last, I believe it's nine months to a year, mm -hmm. you pay mortgage insurance for the life for of the, the loan. the life of an FHA loan. So the only way to really eliminate that is you have to refinance out of an FHA and into a conventional loan. And rates are really competitive right now relative yeah. to what they were. Yeah, they're, they're in the high threes right now mm -hmm. um, for an FHA loan. To tell, tell us about... Um, tell us about other options if you're buying a home with mortgage insurance. You could buy a home 
And you could buy out the mortgage insurance, can't you? Yes, you can do. They came out with, um, about a year or so ago, an upfront mortgage insurance premium. Um, and that's part of my comparison. And I provide options to my clients so I can help them make an informed decision. You can pay that premium upfront, which would eliminate your monthly mortgage insurance premium, and in turn, would allow you to have a little bit more buying power because your ratios would be decreased by that amount, mm -hmm. and then allowing you to meet the guidelines. Yeah. Um, those who want to reach out to you, Rona, how can they get you? They can always reach me at 661-505-4335. I'm always available. I love to do open houses. Um, I am available on weekend and evening appointments. Uh, my goal is to meet the needs of my customers. Thank you very much for coming Thank in. Thank you. And Ron, Rona at AFFloans.com. Don't forget that. Oh, that Rona at AFFloans.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Rona Jukes. Rona Jukes, a mortgage professional at American Family Funding. I hope, this is Fred Arnold. I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Santa Clarita Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Spotlight on AM 1220 KHGS.